Have you ever wondered how the induced fit model or the lock and key model works? So hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss the mechanism of enzyme action and also the associated models. This video is going to be in English. If you are comfortable in Hindi, then you can switch to the video which is in Hindi. I will provide its link in the description box. So first of all, we are going to discuss what the enzyme does. So here you can see there are two graphs. First graph is showing the energy required by the chemical reaction which does not involve any enzyme while the other graph shows the chemical reaction where the enzyme is involved. So here you can see that the amount of energy required by the chemical reaction with enzyme is far lower than the energy required by the chemical reaction which does not involve any enzyme. So we have studied in earlier video that the enzyme works by decreasing or lowering the activation energy and this is how it works. Now the substrate when binds with the enzyme gets converted into enzyme substrate complex and this complex is then followed by the production of enzyme product complex. And once the product is formed, it, it gets dissociated from the enzyme and the enzyme is free to bind to an, any other substrate. Now, there is a particular site to which the substrate can bind. This site is known as active site. So, active site is a small region which is found on the surface of the enzyme where the substrate binds. Now, once the substrate bind to the active site of the enzyme, there is production of enzyme substrate complex and this complex is stabilized via intermolecular forces. Now, once the enzyme substrate complex is formed, the enzyme converts the attached substrate to the product and leads to the production of a product. So here you can see that the enzyme is combining with the substrate to form enzyme substrate complex which is getting converted into enzyme product complex and the product is then released by the enzyme. Now the production of enzyme substrate complex is associated with two models. First model is lock and key model and another one is induced fit model. Both these models are going to be dealt in more detail in further slides. So here you can see that lock and key model was first postulated by M. L. Fisher in 1894. He studied the enzyme substrate complex and he showed that the lock is the enzyme while the key is the substrate. So there is a particular key which can bind to a particular lock that is a substrate can only bind to specific enzymes. So there is high degree of similarity between the shape of the substrate and the binding site of the enzyme. Now there was a limitation of this model that is it says that the enzyme conformation is rigid. But according to researches, it was found that the enzyme is pretty flexible. It can easily associate with the substrate and perfectly bind to it. So there is no rigidity in the enzyme conformation. So this was the limitation. So here you can see that the enzyme has a site that is active site whose shape is similar to the shape of the substrate. Then only the substrate can fit into this shape and there is production of enzyme substrate complex. So this is how the enzyme substrate complex forms according to lock and key model and this model is not accepted because the enzyme has flexibility in its structure. It can bind to the substrate pretty well. So the next model is induced fit model which was given by Koshland in 1963. He said that proteins have 3D flexibility that is they can change their shape they are pretty flexible. Now it was said by this model that the substrate has a role in determining the shape of the enzyme. So enzymes Initial shape does not matter. Whenever there is a presence of substrate, substrate binds to the enzyme 
and then changes the shape of the active site of the enzyme. So the enzyme is partially flexible. Here you can see that the enzyme does not have the binding site for the substrate but whenever the substrate comes in the contact with the enzyme, the enzyme changes its shape or the conformation so that it can bind easily to the substrate. This was the induced fit model. So the substrate is inducing the fitting by which the enzyme and substrate can bind. So in this video, we have discussed about the induced fit model and also about the lock and key model which are very important for the exam point of view. In the coming videos, we are going to discuss about chemical kinetics that is Michaelis, Manton constant and also about the various factors which affect the mechanism of enzyme action. So stay tuned. Goodbye.